Good afternoon, city building inspectors will be here next week armed with that court order. R. Kelly's lawyers did not object to the inspection, but argued for more time, telling the judge that this is not an emergency situation. City attorneys filed the emergency motion after someone anonymously called 311 to report that there are people living on the property as well. People who work at neighboring businesses say it has been quiet at the building in the 200 block of North Justine. They have not seen R. Kelly in the last three to four weeks. Inspectors tried to get into the property Wednesday. In their emergency motion, city lawyers cite the building's owner and tenant believed to be Kelly. The warehouse is zoned for commercial use. The city law department alleges it was converted without the proper permits. It says this is not connected to any criminal investigation. The studio is featured in Surviving R. Kelly, the lifetime documentary series examines decades-long allegations Kelly abused teen girls at his Chicago and Atlanta properties. State's attorney Kim Fox asked potential victims to come forward following reports Georgia prosecutors opened an investigation. At least two women have contacted Fox's office. An employee of a nearby business tells us he has seen girls going in and out of the building uh, where R. Kelly's studio is and that the girls appear to be 16, 17 years old. It didn't really matter what time of day. I mean, he's when he's in town, you know, there's more activity. There's the cars, the securities around. You can see the guys moving around, moving the cars around. When he's out of town, it's a ghost town there. There were mattresses, four mattresses out and back, boxes of women's shoes and stuff like that. So, What did you think when you saw that? Allegations are true. Now, R. Kelly denies wrongdoing in a separate case. The building's owners are attempting to evict R. Kelly for not paying rent. Uh, the judge in that case this week ordered Kelly to pay $167,000. The inspection at this uh, building will take place Wednesday. On the Near West Side, Judy Wang, WGN.